Welcome back. As you remember, we have built our hero image. Now that our hero image is here, we need to now set up our menu. Our menu, we are just going to set a custom menu. There will be no links to them because we haven't created the other pages yet. But so that it can look to shape and we can see how it is going, we will then put menus that don't have a link for now. How to achieve this? There's two ways to get to your menu. It's either you hover, if you're already on this page, hover the word squadron and then click on menus. Okay. If you are not on this page, just let it load. Okay. It's here. If you're not on this page, you are maybe on dashboard or any other pages. Just hover on appearance and then you will find the menu there. Now to create a menu, we need to actually build the menu structure first, the menu itself, the container that holds the menu. So we'll call it main menu. Sorry, wrong spelling, main menu. And then we'll say create menu. Now this has created it. Now we need to also say set this one as a primary menu. And then we save this. So which means now anything that we put here and save, this will show on the top straight away. So we'll just tick this one first and as a, as a, as it's a home page. So we say we have a home page. So if you remember, we had a sitemap. So we're going to use this sitemap to create the rest of the pages. So I'll just go and copy the about us. I'll come here because we don't have a page yet. So we'll create a custom menu, which is a custom link. So we'll click on that and put a hash here and then paste that one there. And then show the about us. Now we need to add the sub menus that are here. Copy that, put a hash and then paste that. And then remove that. Add. So we'll add all of it and then we'll organize them according to sub menus. We're almost there. So what I will do is I'm going to post this video. Well, I'll let you do this yourself as a challenge. Okay, so you add all of it. And then from there, we will then reorganize our menu according to submenus. So you either you post this video as well, and then do the menu, all of it. Remember, this is what we want. So create all of these and then wait for me. Please, when you get to up to contact, ignore this for now, because this we have to do something else to do to achieve the menu button. So for now, ignore this and do from here to there. I'll put that in yellow for you. You can pause here and then continue. Okay, so I'm hoping that you have paused this video and try to achieve this yourself. As you remember, this is our menu and we are trying to replicate this. Okay, so Remember, so we have overview from overview to the drone it needs to be underneath the borders. So the benefit of a menu on WordPress is you can actually drag it to wherever you want it. So we will drag, hold and move it to the right. And you will see it's giving you guidance. So if you see it's guiding you, so it's asking you, do you want to move it below here? If you do that, then it will move there. So it's there. It's underneath. It's called a sub menu and you can see that it's changed to a sub item. That's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is actually clicking on the arrow and actually saying, I want you to go one up or I want you to go under the about us. If I click, I want you to go under the about us, check it out. It does that for you. So you have, you, you can choose whichever way it's easier for you. So I'm just going to drag them. Okay, so we have that, then we have the services now, and then we have that. So when you do that, now we have our sub menus and everything, we then click on save. Now that it's saved, we want to go to our website and see what's going on. If you see, now we have our menus. However, the menus are in gray color. We don't want this, we want it to be in white so that it can be more visible. How do you achieve this? Please follow along. So we are going to go to customize and in customize, we're going to look for the header. 
If you remember, the first time when we created the hero image, there was an issue with the sidebar and we came to general settings and get rid of that. The same thing, we now go to header and look what the menu transparent menu is. It's saying the transparent menu is in dark. This is why it's giving you the dark color. Let's do an experiment. Let's say white, a light, sorry. Wow, look, it's giving us what we want. Now we'll save that. Now that we have done that, we just exit, get out of there and see our site. Okay, so we have created our menus. Okay, and we have created all our pages. Obviously, they don't do anything. So if you click on them, they are not going to do anything. But however, if you click on this one, it's going to give you, it's going to reload the home page because we have actually linked that one. Now that the menu is done, now we are going to now try and finish up the home page as we want it. We're going to add some elements, some images, some content, and it will be fun. So prepare and please do not use all the content and images feel free to go and get any images that you feel like i'm going to use i'm using a stock images so feel free to use yours and if you need these images from me just drop me a message and i will forward this email to make uh, images to you i'll see you in the next video